Hey everyone, it's DC here, and today we're going to go over my top six CTFs for beginners. This collection of CTFs is a group that I put together to try and help you guys to be able to get into CTFs and pen testing as well as get a good understanding of networking and blue team. I find that these CTFs do sort of help with a, a wide range of different tools to, to give you that boost and knowledge to be able to succeed when playing CTFs as well as actually giving you some really good knowledge to be able to do pen testing in the future. Let's go and check out these CTFs. The first CTF on this list is the basic pen testing CTF from TriHackMe. As we can see here from task one, it's all about web app testing and privilege escalation. You're going to learn things like brute forcing, hash cracking, service enumeration, and Linux enumeration which are all very important pieces of web app pen testing and are common things used in different CTF challenges. It's been designed to be a pretty basic CTF and, and that's what I like about it. It's easy to get into and easy to follow. It's a, a CTF that's more, I guess, aimed around learning and the learning experience and being able to learn yourself by giving you those tools. That makes it for me one of my top six CTFs for beginners. My next CTF on the list is from Hack the Box and the room is called Meow. Yeah. As it says here, this CTF is designed to be very, very easy. You get to do different things like spawn the machine, understand what an acronym for a VM stands for, as well as other questions here that sort of give you that basic like how to jump in, do your first ever CTF, which is why I really like this one. It's one that I think gets missed a lot when people talk about CTFs. And that is, you know, how to actually run a VM. How do you do that? How do you find a username? How do you connect to a machine? All these things that as time goes on, they, they do seem to be very basic and very easy, but that's exactly what this is designed for. If you were to do any CTF as your first CTF, I would highly recommend the Hack the Box Meow Room. Now, before I get onto my next CTF, please do like this video and subscribe if you enjoy this content on cybersecurity CTFs, all of that good fun tech stuff. I also have a Discord server with around 5,000 something members. If you guys want to join that and have a chat with other people who are learning cybersecurity as well as a bunch of professionals and even some company owners who might potentially be able to hire you in a position. It wouldn't be the first time. All right, onto the next CTF. It is, of course, the Over the Wire Bandit series. Now, this is one that I've mentioned so many times to different people that I'm coaching because it gives you that basic Linux knowledge that I find really helps you understand how to use machine, how to point a machine, as well as just basically learning all of those day-to-day -day commands that you, once you start using Linux, will become things that you just have in your memory. You will retain that knowledge because it is that basic. It goes from level zero all the way up to level 34, which is pretty insane for a free CTF. And like I said, there's SSH, LS, CAT, NC, Bash, Screen, Tmux, it's got pretty much everything. Honestly, it's got everything that you could want to learn about Linux as a beginner in this CTF. Now, the reason why I think Linux is a good idea to get started with when you're learning about CTFs, cybersecurity pen testing, is because it is utilized in so many different systems that exist out there in the wild. It also looks badass as hell. If you wanna be using like a Linux machine without a GUI and uh, you, you know, you're having to go and use the commands, this could come in handy if you wanna do that. It's also cool if you wanna like rice your machine, which basically means make it look cool, but super minimal, depending on what you wanna do with it, which is I guess also, you know, useful for doing that because you, you're gonna use some of these commands when configuring the different like dot files and stuff and the configuration files for different package managers. Anyway, I'll stop mumbling. The next CTF that I think is a, a great uh, resource to get into is from a website that I think doesn't get mentioned enough. This website is one that I've covered before as a, when it first came out and uh, I thought it was really cool and it's, it's only just gotten better to be honest. The website is CryptoHack and not only do they have these awesome 
uh, little pieces of artwork all over the website, which honestly, they do kind of draw you in to keep going just because it is such a pretty website. They do have a really good CTF here called Crypto on the Web. Now, this one is a little bit more advanced than like your super, super basic how to you know, start a VM. But the reason I've chosen this one is because it does give you a little bit of a, you know, something to play with in the development space. There's a whole bunch of great information here on JWT sessions, RSA versus HMAC, JSON scripting at its most basic level. And yeah, it's it's just such a nice website. I really love this website, to be honest. Now, when they say crypto here, they don't actually mean like crypto money. They mean cryptography. And by the name of the website, Crypto Hack, you would expect it to be a pretty good uh, CTF to complete. And I, I couldn't agree with it more. I think it is a great CTF to get started with. Okay, on to some CTF royalty and maybe legacy as well. This CTF is, of course, the Pico CTF. Now, on the Pico CTF website, they have a uh, practice gym which is a pretty cool concept to be able to practice this CTF as it does change uh, every year, I believe. As the description says here, Pico Gym is a non-competitive practice space where you can explore and solve challenges from previously released Pico CTF competitions, find fresh, never before revealed challenges and build a knowledge base of cybersecurity skills in a safe environment. Whether you're a cybersecurity professional, competitive hacker or new to CTFs, you will find interesting challenges in the Pico Gym that you can solve at your own pace. Team Pico CTF will regularly update this challenge repository, so visit the Pico Gym often. Now, over the years, Pico CTF has had some pretty crazy challenges, some really intense stuff, but lots of like low hanging fruit as well. Now, this one is one that I would sort of uh, look at doing a little bit later on in your CTF journey, but I do believe that it is a great CTF to get started with because there is so much potential here that you can learn from. Okay, we are up to my last CTF for beginner, favorite CTF. And this one is from CTF Academy. Now, the room I've chosen from CTF Academy is the Network Forensics Room. And there is a reason for that, which is that if you think about, you know, IT as a whole, everything runs on a network, right? So if you wanted to be able to become a pen tester further down the line or work as an analyst or a systems engineer or a network engineer, you're going to need to learn networking. It's something I tell literally every coaching student I've ever had. It's something I've been recommending on this channel for years for anyone who wants to get started in uh, not just CTFs, but cybersecurity as a whole, as the industry. Learning about networking is super important. I can't stress that enough. It is super important. This CTF has you download a PCAP file, which you can open with Wireshark, and you essentially have to look through here to find the flag to answer the questions. Basic CTF, right? The problem here is that it doesn't give you a lot of information. Emotional damage. So that's both good and bad at the same time, but it, it does sort of stage you along with each of its questions to be able to answer the questions in here successfully. Now, is Wireshark going to teach you how to be a cybersecurity engineer? Probably not, but it is a fun way to learn networking and to understand how different packets work and what it looks like as those packets are flying around on a network. There are various other CTFs you can do to learn networking, but I feel that learning at least how a packet comes in and goes out is a great start. If you wanted to expand on this and answer the ultimate question that gets asked in every single IT interview ever, which is how does DNS work? Literally just Google, how does DNS work? Anyway, thank you for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and uh, let me know in the comments below what your favorite CTF is that you started with and potentially ones that you're moving towards in the future. I'll see you all around on the next video. Catch you later.